the once peaceful village of Kalemler is now a burned out ruin. Ferhad Okutan says he risked his life to save his parents. He succeeded, but their family home was lost. Ben. Within minutes, the flames surrounded the village and our home while I was trying to rescue my parents. I took my parents out, but the speed of the fire was so fast. Blazes came from all directions. I hesitated for 10 seconds, and then I was surrounded by fire. The house that I'd lived in my entire life turned to dust within 10 minutes. The first news of the wildfires came from Manavgat, in the southern Antalya province, and fanned by the strong winds, they soon spread to surrounding villages, including Kalemlar. But not everybody made it out alive. A German woman and her Turkish husband, who had called this village home for more than 20 years, were killed. We just fled when the flames were coming over us, but that couple went home to take their things. Then we didn't hear from them at all. We kept asking where they are. Their phones were off. Then on Sunday we found out that they left home but could not get through the fires surrounding the house. We found their bodies leaning against a wall. They were completely burned. And those who survived are now without homes and livelihoods. Nearly 60 of the 100 houses in this village have been destroyed or heavily damaged, with little to return to but rubble. More than half of the people here have been forced to flee. Among them is Ibrahim Özbay, whose home of 40 years perished in the flames. When the fire broke out, I immediately tried to rescue my elderly mother. I barely survived. My home was ruined by the flames. Our farms also got burned. We lost all of our livestock. Now I don't even want to look at my ruined house because it is giving me an unbearable pain. We don't know what will happen and what we will do. Since Wednesday, more than 130 fires have broken out across southern Turkey's coastal regions. Most of them are under control, but the provinces of Mula, Antalya and Sparta are still trying to put out flames. The government says it will compensate people for their losses. And support is pouring in from all over the country and abroad, with the firefighting planes coming in from Croatia, Spain, Russia, Iran, Ukraine and Azerbaijan. But so much work still needs to be done for people to once again call villages like Kalemler home. Resul Serdar, Al Jazeera, Manavgat.